you condescending little fucking prick. Hey everyone, it's Mark Sargent, and you can thank Anthony Riley for sending me this video. Uh, and you know, he said, "Hey, you should really narrate it this because there's only music." Uh, yeah, this is really important. This really important to whom? It's a flat Earth video. This is some footage that was shot about two years ago in Santa Barbara, California, off the beach. And let's just zoom right into it and, and take a quick look. So this is another version of the oil rig observation. So the camera is placed in the guard railing between cafe and restroom showers. And you're going to look here. When we look at the elevation, it is set at eight feet. So Google Earth reads, reads this as eight feet off of the water. Which That's right. Google Earth provided eight feet. And this person sees absolutely nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> I had it measured. It took just a mere phone call, and the measure for above mean sea level for that platform is 20 feet 7 inches, not 8 feet. Add another 3 feet for the railing. Height of I, 23 feet 7 inches. Which is a little higher than the one foot uh, camera stuff that we did earlier. And then you're gonna, we're going to take a draw a line to the first platform which is called Platform C, which is directly out in front of it, and then another one a little bit off to the right, which is Platform Habitat. And when we pull back and look at the distances of these two, we will notice the, uh, the curve cal calculator, just to pull that up real fast. Here we have the actual calculation. Height of I, 23.66 feet. Target distance, 10.1 miles. This gives us a horizontal distance of 5.95 miles. If you add the standard refraction, that's 0 0.86. So, with the standard refraction, we can see 6.8 miles. Note that the first platform is at 6 miles. Standard rigs off the of Southern California coast the bottom of the platform must be 70 feet or higher so that this conforms with the what they call the 100 year storm height this is required for rigs to be insured so if we take 70 feet and we subtract that 11.45 feet we get 58 and a half feet which we can see and uh, this is what we actually observe. So, easily see the rigs, no problems, calculation works just fine. And then, remember, this was shot October 23rd, 2017, so over two years ago at sunrise. Yeah, because the date and time is really important for this. The first one is at a distance of 6.08 miles, platform C. And then the second one, off the distance platform habitat, at 10.1 miles. Why are these two important? Well, because at 8 foot elevation, the globe Earth's horizon should be less than 3.5 miles. Yes, if it was height of I 8 feet, that is correct. It is not meaning the horizon should be in front of these things. 29 feet of habitat should be blocked by the curvature in front of these objects. And yet, all of the habitat is visible, even with some compression. Some compression. What this clown calls compression, us normal people call the curvature of Earth. This clown is staring at the curvature of the earth and he doesn't want to admit it so he calls it compression how the bloody blank blank could this be compression what is compressing and what is being compressed earth curvature is what he is seeing and you'll notice and we'll draw a line here in a second that the horizon is clearly behind these objects. 
And what makes this footage and all footage like it so, so important is that these are static objects, meaning these are not boats. These are always in one place. Yeah, and that just cracks me up. Look at this image, please. The first oil rig platform. See how high it is above the water? And then the second one in the distance. See how much less high it is in the water? That's because Earth curvature is in the way. They're not moving or floating anywhere. And we'll draw the green line on this. And you can see, yeah, it's not, not hard to, to see. Somewhere way, way, way off in the distance is the horizon, way further than 10.1 miles. And that should not be. There, there's no curvature. I mean, and that only... The Flat Earth genius drew a straight line on the horizon and then said, there's no curvature. The intelligence of Flat Earthers. It only happens on a flat world. You will not see this on a, on a curved thing because eventually... But we are seeing it on a curved thing. So is this Flat Earther. He's just not going to admit it. These objects should be over the side of the hill. They should be behind the curve. And we just don't see that. These two oil platforms, again, one at 6 and one at 10, are right in front. So tell me optically how that happens. Tell me what atmospheric condition can put the horizon behind these objects. Atmospheric refraction. You're welcome. You want to say it's a mirage? Okay, well, then if you do that, you can never say that a boat is being chopped in half by the horizon. A boat is being chopped in half by the horizon. Gosh, it looks like I can say that. Because you say, well, no, that's real. A boat being chopped in half by the horizon line, you know, with heavy compression and refraction. Oh, no, that... Heavy compression and refraction. So this clown knows that refraction exists. He can even do the calculation for a standard refraction um, constant. It is one seventh of the distance between the the observer and the horizon that is calculated. And you take that and you. Um, multiply it by one seventh and you get an additional refraction past the horizon. That's just standard. There are a great many times when the standard refraction is not correct and one can, uh, uh, depending on temperature of the atmosphere and how moist it is, such as sunrise off of the Southern California coast, you can see much farther than the standard one seventh. So, this is what the person is looking at. This is what they look like with standard refraction. Gosh, the curve of Earth is in the way. Who could have guessed that? That's real. But this right here, sunrise, couldn't be clear conditions, not a cloud in the sky. Cloud in the sky. Um, we're looking at uh, ocean surface here. <sighs> How moist is it just above ocean surface? What is the temperature? Which the temperature sets the uh, moisture more or less. Warmer air, of course, holds more moisture. Cloud in the sky does not apply. We're talking about refraction shooting off at, at oil platforms at six miles and ten miles respectively you can't tell me that this is a mirage it is a mirage gosh i can say that i can tell this person that and it was so easy No, no way. And even if you do say it's a mirage, tell me how a mirage puts the horizon behind the objects. That's the big key here. Uh, do this with any sort of piece of paper. Bend it in half. There, put two dots on the other side. A piece of paper. 10.1 miles long, I guess. 
These people actually believe that they are being clever. It's just, that just creeps the fuck out of me. Tell me how the horizon is behind those dots. If it's, if it's a globe, it cannot be. But it is. So again, you know, share this with your friends, show people, look, this is, this is one of the globe killers, but it's going to take people a little while to understand it. Long ago, I removed my irony uh, meter from my computer because it kept detonating, uh, especially with creationism videos and flat earthers. So irony off the scale here, you know. They got to understand what this person is saying, and this person doesn't understand what he's saying, so... Which is, what you're looking at here is objects that are in front of the horizon, which is clearly a long way behind it. Yeah, a long, long way. My estimate is approximately half a mile, based on my sea adventures that I've taken. I mean, I've done it hundreds of times. I would say half a mile beyond the rigs that we are seeing. Refraction does that. Mm, big yawn. But it can't, these objects can't be if it's a globe Earth. It is a globe Earth and it can be cannot be the horizon has to be in front of these objects the curve calculator which mainstream science declared mainstream science uh, compared to what other kind of science flat earther science that's pretty straightforward so tell me how that happens anyway share it guys okay i told you how it happens now what <laughs>